Hello chaps, I am the mighty Maximimus, and I am returning with a brand new gameplay of Transformers Fall of Cybertron. A game distinctively unique in its own way because you can freaking transform like this! Oh shit, oh my god, I want to... In this gameplay, I'll be playing as the scout, showing off some useful tips on how to use this little schmuck. The first thing to notice when playing as a scout, or infiltrator as he is now called in this game is that he has the fastest robot speed here notice I said robot speed not vehicle speed is very um, crucial not to get those two confused the second thing to note he has the second lowest health out of the four classes the third thing is he specializes in close quarters to long-range combat and the fourth thing is he transforms into a fucking racing car look at oh, so cool <sighs> So now we're going to go into some gameplay. The map on the demo is called Array and all you have to remember is that everyone goes to the center circle of this map. I personally call it the hot zone. If you're a scout, don't go in the center. Instead try and concentrate on either flanking or distracting the opposite team so you, your own teammates can get free shots from them. It's, it's a lot better if they have the shots than you because you don't have the necessary weapons to really take out about five or six robots that are all crowding around the circle square. Okay, uh, if you haven't noticed already, this is a live come because I can do something like this. Look, yeah, look, look at this. Okay, things to remember when you're playing as a scout. Your pistol is a lot more reliable than your shotgun, team which is deathmatch. quite disappointing. Oh god, I chose the wrong class. I'll have to change class, give me a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, what was I saying? Oh yes, the first thing is that your pistol is a lot more reliable than your shotgun. I'm not using the shotgun currently, but I will be after I die. Um, you turn invisible. Turn invisible like so. Um, please note that enemies will still see you if they have shot at you already, or if they shot at you with like some form, or if your scientist buddy decides to heal you whilst you're invisible. Go away, scientist, I hate you. And... The last thing that you really, really have to remember when playing as a scout is this. It's called a dodge roll. It may fascinate some people to know that they have actually placed this in this game. Now I am so surprised that after a week of the demo being released, more speech mark open experienced players uh, speech mark close, have not discovered the beauty of dodge rolling. It'll get you out of the sticky situations 9 times out of 10. I will vouch for this because people are very new to this game, so they're very gullible at dodge rolling and stuff. Don't be afraid to use it. It's so good. It actually freaks people out when you dodge roll. It disorientates the aim of the person so they start firing everywhere. So I advise every single one of you scout users, I advise you all to abuse dodge roll and air dashing because it'll save you 9 times out of 10. Now that we've, now that I've literally cleared all of that up, I am actually going to be mining and go to some gameplay. Hopefully, it won't be too appalling. Just remember, this is a live com. I haven't spent hours and hours trying to get good footage. Okay, so oh, fun. yeah, great start. As you can see, I'm already avoiding the circle. I'm trying to go around it as fast as I can. Okay, so here we go. Right now, I've got the new sniper rifle. It's, it's difficult to use. It's not like the standard sniper rifles in Battlefield or in Call of Duty or, or any of those games. It takes a lot of, not skill, but time to use. You see, because it has something called a charge. So normal bullets won't, will do like the standard um, damage and then afterwards you wait for it to charge and do 100% damage or so it says. Watch this, it won't do it. Or I can just miss totally because he moved. It doesn't kill them in one hit, so I don't understand what this 100% thing is. I'm going to go try and die so I can actually switch classes. It probably won't even work. Notice that I'm trying to use dodge roll. Oh my god. Him. And if people do whirlwinds like this, just keep rolling back because they can't do anything to stop this. See what I mean? Dodge rolling is very effective. 
There we go. Prime example. That's a good. That's a good start to showing off. Well, how good dodge rolling is in this game. I'm surprised not many people still use it. Yeah, I was I was wondering when I was about to die. Thank goodness I did though, I won't have to use a sniper. Um, when using the shotgun, don't expect it to be like a three shot kill. It will take a few bullets to get going. It, it really does take a lot of shots to actually get a kill. It does say it does 100% damage. I don't know where they got their stats from. It doesn't look like it does. <laughs> Barrel roll! And that's just a fine example of showing that the pistol is more reliable than the shotgun. What that was, oh, that's my shield recharging. I do use the shotgun in case I run out of the of the pistol. Ooh, another thing to notice when you're using the scout, you're going to be relying a lot on health cubes. I'm, I'm just going to say that out right now, because the bigger people will rinse your health down and considering that most scientists don't really do their job and all they do is just fly around the map aimlessly they don't actually heal you I'd consider it very useful to try and memorize where the health cubes are I'll, I'll show you an easy way of remembering you see that why are you healing me I'm on a hundred I'm on 300 health I'm on full health leave me alone stop it thank you Okay, an easy thing to remember. You see this circle or circular thing? Basically... Ah! You can't be serious. Okay. I'll show you guys the next run. I won't be going too much into the multiplayer. I will probably stop it half. Really? The game ended, guys. Seriously? Oh, God. That is, that is horrible. You're ending a game by ending it through host migration. That's, that makes perfect sense, you know? Why don't I do that more often? At least it sends us back to the screen, so I'm a bit happy about that. Okay. Let's see what we got. What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, everyone uses the scientists. That's why I hate scientists with a passion, literally. I, I can't stand scientists. They don't do their job, all they do is fly around, they don't even really kill people that often unless they're using their neuron assault rifle, they hardly use their primary function to heal people. I think I've already mentioned that but I need to distress that because scientists are not doing their primary function. They're just not. And it really does annoy me when I see about five scientists on my team flying around aimlessly getting killed because it has the lowest health in the game, just getting completely ripped over by destroyers and all these other classes. Alright, now I'm going to show you the starting tactic of what I normally do in the game mode, um, depending if we spawn on the right side. I'll show you um, just what how useful it is at certain points. Okay, here we go. One, let's go. What side are we spawning? We spawn on the good side, right. So, scout users, take this into consideration. You want to speed all the way through here and straight away get the health upgrade. That is, that is what you really want to go for because that will help you out if there are two or three people that you just cannot take on alone. Next thing to notice, um, I don't think you'll be relying on ammo that much. Okay, now I'm going to try and teach you this, um, the way I memorized all the, where the, all the health cubes are. You see that center circle? Picture like a Jesus Christ. The shield, ah, that's good. Okay, let's see. Stay away from the center because that's where all the harsh people are going to be killing me. So I'm going to go in there. Okay, now what was I saying? Oh, yes, how to memorize the health pack. See that circle? Picture a Jesus cross, you see a cross going whoop and whoop. Oh. I'm trying to discuss how to memorize it through Jesus crosses, guys. Go away. Yes. 
Be gone. Foul creatures. Okay, picture of Jesus Cross going straight through there. And straight through there. You'll find one cube. Okay, picture like northeast, southwest on the circle. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, good. So this is. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm pushing into overtime, but I'm pretty sure you guys are interested to watch this. Okay, northeast southwest. There's one northeast southwest from this point. We're gonna go from this point over here. Oh my god, more enemies! Don't worry, I'm in cloak. They can't see me. Right, picture it from here. North up there, east, south, west. Ah, go away! I'm trying to discuss people with my YouTube audience. Okay, there is one. West, one north, and one east. Just picture that in a solid motion. If you really want directions of where they are, that's where the health cube's gonna be first. In the west side, that's where it is. North side, and across the map over there, that's where it is um, on the east side. Okay. As you can probably know, I do spam this pistol a lot. Oh, if you see a medic, shoot the crap out of him. Having the lowest health really does not pay off in this game. You need to be very vigilant. It's very easy. To be fair, this game is very team based. I'll, I'll give you that. Unless you come across schmucks like this team. They are quite schmuckish. They don't know what they're doing, so they're just going to try and run and gun. If you run out of ammo with your pistol, it's always advised that you restock straight away because that is practically your main weapon. The sniper rifle I found when I tried to do the gameplay with it, it was it was god awful. I couldn't get one shot kills. I think it's just because I, I wasn't used to the whole Transformers headshot thing, so not very not very good at that. Okay. Reload that. Oh, it's already reloaded, fair enough, so I'm gonna go zoom off over here. Okay. So just how it goes. See look, the scientist not doing his job pays off by dying. That's just what happens. He's using the shotgun, I'm probably gonna die. Oh no! Big teammate, good, good, I like big teammates. Yep, see look, someone's getting the dodge roll at least, yay! Yeah look, they're getting it even before I've... Oh no, this guy is perfect, look, he's gone. You'll find that if you play as a scout, you will get a lot of assists. But that's okay, because this game really isn't about just killing in groups. You still get a fair amount of points for assists. And to be fair, the leveling system is quite easy in this game. It's not, it's not too difficult, not too, not too easy. It's, it's, it's just about right. Look, look, look at this. Look how many scouts you are. You'll find that also with the scout, you're going to be focusing on one enemy at a time. It doesn't matter where you're getting shot from. You have to focus on one enemy at a time. And if you're close to death, don't retreat unless you're near a health pack. If you're near a health pack, that will be double bonus for you. But if you're not, well, then that sucks, doesn't it? Instead, deal as much damage as you can. Deal as much damage as you can to the, to the enemies. Even if it's just one enemy, you'll get an assist, which is good enough. It doesn't matter. This game isn't designed for you to be able to take on at least five to six players at once. It is just not. I've got him, okay, fair enough. Ah! Well, there you go, guys. That concludes this video. I hope this has helped you scout users out a bit. I'm pretty sure my <laughs> Circle Jesus Cross explanation was a bit too advanced and I was too busy blabbering on in the gameplay. But I hope that has been a bit helpful and I hope you take on board the tips that I've given. And I will actually see you around on this game. So, cheerio, peeps, thanks for watching.